Greetings everyone, welcome back to Arxotalis. There we go, everything should be alright. Let's see, it's been a while for me. We made it down to the Dwarven factory, I believe this is called. Which is good, because we are looking for a dwarf, probably. Preferably, a blacksmith. Because we want to build an ultimate weapon. Let's see. Is this safe? Yeah. So we have been on this level before, but I'm guessing that's the crypt. Dwarf, so no magic permitted. No magic, you say. Then again, how many dwarves are there, really? I'm gonna check down here first. These textures look pretty sharp. I'm gonna head back. Yeah, I did install a texture patch. Sometimes I think it's a bit more apparent than other times. Foundry. Forge. Mm. Which is locked off. That's a shame, because we need to go to the forge, I think. What about this way? No magic. Wait. Yeah. What's over here? We got lava or magma in this form. Not really sure. It's, I think magma, right? It's it's lava once it's erupted. Yeah. Fresh air. What's that? Uh. Do I have any of that? Taking it with me. Hmm. Oh. I could. Hmm. I could just do a levitate. Let's do that. This one. This one. Okay. If I don't fall into. Nope. Don't know why it's making the screen flicker. Okay, so I need to do Mega Spashum, which was. Okay, that was easy, because we just did half of it. Let's do a quick save to be sure. This is kind of a dead end, it seems. Maybe I could go in here. I seem to be kind of stuck. Rotating around this spot. Hang on. Am I stuck? Oh, come on. Come on. I. I. Oh, all right.
Okay, I still have enough mana. Let's see if there's anything in there. It looks like a dead end. That is just for decoration purposes. A decorative mine mine monorail. There we go. I could have tried to go back there, but I, I don't think we're really meant to go that way. So that just leaves that little um, opening, right? That I just peeked through. I seem to remember. I've never been this far into the game story wise, but I think I have actually been here. Uh, kind of wandered off. I don't suppose I have. Nah. That wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I think I've been here um, a long while back. And I think there's a monster here. Which I'm not really sure if we're meant to fight. Oh well, yeah. Well. So, the blood is fresh, somewhat, so that might mean that there are still dwarves alive, or that we're just too late. This does seem to be dwarf sized, I guess, kitchen utensil. Try to fight it. I'm gonna to try to fight it. Might no, we're not meant to fight it. <laughs> okay. Um What about if we go this way? Then it does not appear. But this is locked, yeah. We'll still quick save because I explored the map in that area. Alright, well, let's make a run for it, I guess. So we got speed spells, so if he catches up to us, we could just run quicker. Um. Yep. Are we moving faster all of a sudden? Uh. Okay. Oh. Uh, I did a quick save, but maybe <laughs> that was all wrong. At least get through it. Oh, oh platforming. Try to go this way. Yeah, that works. Quick save again. Okay. Quick save again. <laughs> Must be easier to see for that uh, creature. Oh, you have a key. Thank you. You have a power stone. I'll take it. You have an instruction manual for the forge. I'll take that too. But I don't know if I have time to read it right now. So I'll thank you very much. Where did I put the key? Oh God. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. 
Yeah, I guess as much. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Close. Can he open doors? Okay, we'll go that way. This is dead end. Can I go? Yep, he can open doors. All right, good to know. What's this? What's this? Ah. Uh. Nope. Well, he's not in a hurry. Uh, this might be a forge. Incoming. Um. Uh. Leave me alone. This is all wrong. And we are dead. Oh, magic's not allowed. Yeah, otherwise I guess you could kill him. Can we climb up this? Yes, all right. Okay, we might be safe for the moment. Maybe I should take that a moment to read the book about how to use the forge. This is something. It doesn't do anything though. Or maybe it did, maybe it... no. Looks like something. All right. Um. Uh. No. All right. To make a metal object, you must use two machines. First, you should use the ing ingot maker. This machine will melt your ore to obtain a calibrated ingot. Hmm. So we do have ore. We do have metal, but we. Do we already? Uh, we probably already need to have mithril then. That would suck. Place a powerful stone in the machine to give it energy. Put two large pieces of ore in the oven. Take care not to put two different types of ore at the same time. Should you need, should the need arise to bind the metal, add a reagent to the mix. Pull the lever to make it the ingot. Next, the foundry should be used as follows. Place the power stone in the machine to give it energy. Put the mold of the object you wish to make into the caster. Put the ingot in the oven. Pull the lever to produce the desired object. Alright, we have a power stone. That much we do have. But that's about it. Crap. Yeah, I'm guessing we, we, we should have had should have already be in possession of mithril maybe what's that oh all right so we have a mold which i guess we need Wait, this is the dead end again, isn't it? No, nope, it's not. All right. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Can you? Maybe you can cheese him. 
if you could come real close, which you may not be able to do because it looks like you're stuck, or, but I don't, can he be killed? If he would be like up against this here, you'd probably just swipe at him. Hmm. Can I make him walk circles around that thing? It doesn't look like he can be hit, does it? Oh, it does. So we are hitting it, otherwise it wouldn't say double damage. But I don't know. It might just be, you know, double nothing. Oh, yeah. this hurts our sword really bad. Yeah. Well, still getting double damage. Okay, let's try stabs. Yeah. Does yeah. anything though? Sword is breaking. There, there is kind of coming. Yeah. Almost seems to be kind of green slime coming off of him. And I think we dropped our shield. Okay, well, he's certified stuck. I think unless we pro we'll probably start moving, then he'll unstuck. Doubting, he, he might just be invincible. Indestructible. I don't think. Now, even even if it was a fair fight, I don't think you were meant to hit him this many times without result. I think I'm going to call it quits in like a few more. Quits in a few more hits. Oh, torch went out. That's fine. Yeah. Mm, my money's on invincible. So that's the thing, right? Maybe you're only two hits away. <laughs> This is a pretty big, beefy weapon, I, I guess. It's probably another way to get rid of him. Uh, let's reload. Alright, so the, the one way is a dead end, so we won't be going that way. Can I get you to get to remain stuck? My guess is you'll probably start doing... If I, if I lock... This doesn't work for some reason. My guess is if I look away, he'll um, respawn somewhere else. This that was a dead end. Or well, maybe we could open it up with a pickaxe. Stuck. 
Nope, been here. Wait, where did I come from then? Oh. Yeah, he's stuck all right. Can I go this way without you bothering me? Kind of want to see what's what. I said what what. Is this a secret door? Something happened. I think. Ah. Set of tools. I might need that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here without dying. If he's still stuck, we should be alright. He's running. He's running. Nope, still locked. Uh, there is the other door, though. Maybe that one. He's probably going to clip out of it at some point. Come in. Yes. Let's save to be sure. Dead end. That's how the dwarves sleep. Another power stone, another key. Take it. What's that? Another key. Another mold for a sword. It is big. Uh, we have no use for thief tools. Telekinesis. I probably need telekinesis. There we go. Something much worse than rats around here. Metal, metal mining. The forge. Keys. Lock, lock. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on.
Okay, well. Blacksmith file, pliers. Uh. Yeah, we just don't have the material. Or, I guess I, I could leave the molds behind, maybe. Thing is going to come at some point, isn't he? Okay, there's another. Oh, really? Chunk of gold. We could probably use gold. No, just a regular old pickaxe. Nothing special about it. Oh, another one. Probably read that mine log, that miner's logbook. It might give me a clue about um, mithril. But I am not sure if we are being hunted. Hunting me, hunting you. monster is still stuck there or it could be that he doesn't venture out this far I've not yet seen anything that would indicate indicate a way to get rid of him like a, contra a contraption or something to, to kill him with <laughs> I think. But let's wait until we actually jump down. Let's make sure we have the edges nice and clear on the map. Uh, is this... This might have been the last bit actually. No, no, no. We could go here. in this game. Still not a dead end. Oh. oh. Fine. It's okay. It's okay. Ooh. Diamond? An emerald. Well, it's, it's nothing. It's still not mithril, though. What's this? Um, something? Something. Way out. Incoming. Hmm. 
Read this. Report 87, the year 266, brown season, third day of the week of the eagle. After weeks and weeks of hard labor, we have finally discovered a vein of mithril. There we go. There was a cry of joy from the workers, and as they stood before the point where the vein of mithril emerged, they had tears in their eyes. It is situated far away to the east. As it's quite a long way from the grinding room, we built a track upon which wagons will transport you directly to the grinding room. Since discovering the vein, we have dug in all different directions from its initial starting point. When we mined north, we discovered a strange cavity. It seems to be both natural and artificial, du artificially dug out at the same time. There was a strong animal smell coming from it, and we thought it must be the den of some wild beast. As this is the week of the rat, I feel some trepidation, trepidation about what the future holds for us. All right, so they found mithril. That we at least know. Anything up here? Yeah, there's something there. Another body. All the way out here and nothing good on him. Whoa, what's this? Oh. Found mithril, but we don't have space. Oh, oh, I get it. Uh, throw it. Okay. Of course, it didn't break. Otherwise, it would be a very weak material to build like a great weapon out of. Okay, so we need to put this. I'm guessing it's now in the forge room. Okay, well, took care of that. We have mithril. Which is a good thing. <laughs> just a lot of rats in this game because they they kind of want you or need you to have a a supply of food wait so did dead ends. This is... dead end. Well, clearly, but... I 
probably check. Um, I'm gonna put that book away. So we didn't read it. The magic potions. Put that one away as well. Uh, what was this? Akinor, I think we're about to run out of mithril. The situation becomes more disturbing every day, and I can't find even an ounce of mithril in our minds. We must find a solution without delay. Oridak. Oridak. Okay, so. Mine logbook. This is the. Um, Oh, that's quite a while ago, actually. That, that's uh, from the uh, the worshippers, I think. Eh, I can go. I'm just gonna put it Let's over here. It All right, you eat. Cheese, bread, drumstick. There we go. Mushroom. Why not? Uh, cold power. I think we need that. Finest metal, forge in the finest forge, enhance it with the finest spell there is. It is very important to select the finest metal. Not only because it determines the keenness of the blade and the strength, but also capable. Okay. Additionally, the weight of the metal will determine the maneuverability of the weapon. Efficiency of thrust penetration. Uh, iron. But we need mithril. Yeah. Uh, chosen with care and the rarest materials which carry an in. in Intrinsic magical value within their very essence must be used. Mithril is almost impossible to find, but we have it now. Nevertheless, it would be possible to locate a piece with desk middle. Next steps to take it to the very best blacksmith, forge a weapon. Uh, uh, uh. Dwarves, yeah. Their whole tradition is based on working the metal. Complete weapon must be able to absorb the first magical spell, cast on it, and converge this spell within within it. Uh, I think the, the uh, I think the powder is is the thing that we need to um, bind it with, right? Uh, oh, a dragon's egg. Quality of the weapon, however, ultimately depends more on the metal chosen and the forge used than on the element it is combined with. All right. What does the uh? Okay, the book of the ultimate weapon says I should make a weapon of mithril. Alloy such as can melt with strange alloys such as the cooked powder. I must find a dragon's egg. Oh right, we met a ghost. <laughs> that was uh, well, it wasn't too long ago, but it's been a while since I played. Okay, so we need to combine the powder with mithril then, and that'll make the sword if we do it right. And then we need a dragon's egg. Which I don't know where to get, but maybe it might be that if we have the weapon, we might have to take it back to the to the uh, ladies of Adonium. They might be able to help us with that. What's this? Crypt keystone. That's probably from, well, from the crypt, I guess. So no use here. Uh, mine. Let's put it over here. I still have Zohark. First you should use the ingot maker. This machine will melt your ore to the following steps describe how to make uh, give it energy into the oven. So that is the other room. Problem is that's where the creature is. 
I think. Maybe he's so stuck that we can just go about our merry way and use whatever it is. Do whatever we need to do in there. It seems kind of silly, but how, how else would you, would you be meant to do this? Well, clearly not with him getting stuck so you can go about your way, but... Would you just have to run in and out of the place? Um... Hang on, there was a closed door somewhere, wasn't there? And we do uh, have some extra keys now. This isn't it, is it? Uh, nope, this is where the corpse is. Oh, there was also an extra door in the room with the monster. Still there. Yep, there's, there's the mythal. Let's see if we can open this up. Yep. Oh, I see. Uh, where do we need to put the power source? Alright, so let's save. If I go round, will he? He might be... He might... Yeah. I was afraid of that. Uh, there's the power source. <laughs> yeah, why don't you uh, get stuck again? Yeah. Just wait there. What's healing? Wait. Oh! There's no magic in this area. Yeah. No! <laughs> Maybe we can use that to kill him. Climb up there, I'm pretty safe, but climb up. Okay. Let's see if this lever actually does what I think it does. <gasps> Come on! Drumstick. How do I make 
make sure you run that thing. Um, I, g I guess. So he he is attracted to me. Come on. Yes. Just get all terminator on him. Oh, so it did use up power? Uh, do we also need to crush the mithril? Ah, it might, it might be. I think it's broken. Did I save? Just save again to be sure. Alright. Do we need to crush the mithril? we do chunk of mithril oh yeah there we go I think all right took care of that thing oh that's what that does Um, all right. supposed to be in the other room. Um, I am lost. Rainbow. Where was the... So the uh, that's a dead end. Probably this way, wasn't it? It's a dead end because it's caved in. This is where the corpse is, so this is also not where we want to go. At least the creature is not after us anymore, but I, I don't remember how to get to the forge room. This room, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> Are you shitting me? Oh, God. And I'm out of power crystals, aren't I? Maybe I can have him 
fall into this thing. about your opponent's status during fights the skill determines mana regain rate Ooh. yeah this really hasn't helped with anything what if I make this 30 put 5 in here and another one there it's something to use two machines but there are two machines in this room so maybe this is just it um, but this is just another crusher isn't it or maybe not let's see can we just use it something is wrong oh can we still okay we can so maybe we just have to put... No, wait, one. Uh... I think that's it? If not, we've saved, so hopefully. Something is wrong. Oh. Maybe this is the ingot maker. Yeah, maybe it needs to go in here. Probably looks more like something that would produce an ingot. Maybe in here? Two large pieces of ore in the oven. Take care not to put two. Take care to put not to put two different types of ore in at the same time. Oh, I see. So we're not meant to put in the coke powder just yet. What about now? Got it. So we can make another one, right? Yep. Should you need a rice by the metal, add a reagent to the mix. Oh no. Hang on. 
well, maybe it wasn't so much an issue, but let's see if, if we are meant to do it like this. Uh, and then also put in the powder. A piece of cast mithril melded with coal rock. I think that's what we need. Um, and then, okay, okay, Pre pretty, pretty sure that is what we want. Hang on, using books. How hard can it be? Okay, we have the ingot. Foundry should be used as follows. Place the power the machine to give it energy. Put the mold of the object you wish to make into the caster. Put the ingot in the oven. Pull the lever and produce the side object. Alright. So, if I am correct, I think it will probably make a one-hander. Should make a two-hander. make a two-hander we, we can also make a one-hander but then one will be come on get on there Should be the other end. This kind of looks more like it would produce the thing. Maybe not, though. No. Let's just put this one here. It sh it'll probably tell us if it's wrong. Then we put this here. Something is wrong. No. Yeah, that one. Okay. No. Yeah, it needs to go the other way around. If if it's okay, still there. Still there. Come in. Give us a... Two-handed media sword. Okay. Try to make a one added sword as a, as a bonus. Alright, I still have the mithril. Nope. Wait, uh, no. I think we're good.
Oh, that's a bit of a letdown. Oh, actually, wait, it's not that bad. Oh. I thought, I thought that was pretty low. Okay, uh, well, this damage is really high then. Okay. Um... Managed to use the forge. Uh, we have, we have a, we have a. Yeah. All oh, right. What? So. A dragon egg allows the weapon to damage the element it is made of. For, ex uh, for example, an enchanted iron weapon will do more damage to iron objects. So a media, a media sword, enchanted with dragon eggs, with a dragon egg, will should be able to damage the 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 media. All right. So now all we need is a dragon egg. <laughs> Which I don't know where to start looking for one. Anyway, that'll be um I'm I'm I might try to get a hint from a uh, guide just to point me in the right direction. Or maybe I'll just have to mull it over, see if I can come up with anything. But yeah, that'll be that'll be it um, for this episode at least. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. But for now, farewell.